Friends, I crave discourse. And since I don't use social media, I've come to you. I've been reading Reddit for years training for this day. I got you, buddy. I did not agree to be part of this narrative. Oh, before we start, is anyone hungry? I could order us some takes. How do you like them? Room temperature? Scalding hot? You don't even know what the topic is. When has that ever stopped a hot take? Ahem. <clears throat> They're making a Magic the Gathering TV show for Netflix, but we don't know anything about it or what it will look like. So let's speculate. Oh! Saturday morning cartoon. It's Netflix? There's no time at which it airs? Or do you mean Saturday morning in the sense that watching something between midnight and 4 a.m. technically means you saw it in the morning? What can I say? I like to start my morning by eating a hearty breakfast, watching a season finale, and collapsing into the Odin sleep. So we're talking a classic Saturday morning cartoon here. Absolutely. It's got to have a cast of colorful characters, which is easy, simple Monster of the Week plot structure, a moralizing epilogue where a character talks directly to the viewer, I'm thinking Karn's Corner, and an opening title theme that is a rap, obviously written by committee. Please don't. The multiverse is in a jam, a diabolical plan of a dragon man. Big Nicky B and his various schemes are gonna make his evil dreams come true. What's up? We're the Gatewatch crew, and we're here to save this plane for you. From Innistrad to Kamigawa, gonna beat Nicky B, and he's gonna be sour. I'm giddy and don't call me Chad and I'm gonna- I get, I gotta stop you there. After reflection, I'm gonna take a mulligan on this whole conversation. What? Friends, I crave discourse in the new Magic TV show. And since I don't have social media, I've come to you. I did not agree to be part of this narrative. Oh, I've been thinking about this. I want to see one of those, like, young adult dystopian type deals. You know, like, all the planeswalkers are brought to Bolus's meditation realm and they have to fight each other for his amusement. How are that? Bolus doesn't even have his powers anymore. And they're planeswalkers. Couldn't they just leave? Hmm, I wouldn't worry about it. I've read a lot of these novels and they don't actually have to make sense. Or, what if instead of all the planeswalkers fighting, it was like one of those historic warrior shows? Like, a Johnny versus Liliana 1v1. No, 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 no. Make it a spectacle fighter. One week it's Chandra versus 25 tree folk. The next week it's Garrick versus a craw worm. Who would win in a fight? One crater hoof behemoth sized gremlin, or 100 gremlin sized crater hoof behemoths? Why does it have to be physical? Couldn't they have, like, a trivia competition? Oh, like those shows with the experts. Each episode is about someone's home plane, and then there's like a panel of three walkers versus them. Wow, Jace would be so bad at that. Or would he be amazing? Soren's gonna be so embarrassed when it turns out he doesn't know anything about Innistrad. Yeah, I think I could do better. Wow, okay. What's your idea for a show? No, I mean, with this conversation. Friends! I crave discourse on the new Magic TV show, and since I'm not on social media, I've come to you. While I did not agree to be a part of this narrative, I do have an idea for a screenplay I've been wanting to write for a few years. Shoot. As a young boy on Kamigawa, Toshiro Umazawa sees a man killed in front of him. Years later, he is exiled to Dominaria, where the sorcerers at the Telerian Academy use him in their temporal experiments to end the time spiral. On one of his quests through space and time, he is pursued by a Thran agent who mortally wounds him. As he is dying, in his final moments, he realizes that the man he saw killed all those years ago was himself. I call it Umazawa's Jete. Wow. Or if Netflix doesn't think that'll play with an American audience, they can make it as a full-length feature film and call it, I don't know, 12 Kurt Apes? Well then! Friends, let's talk about the new Magic TV show. Hit me. You know what's surprisingly popular? All those kind of medium superhero shows where it's like, oh, there's threats to the world, but what about our feelings? Yeah, but those shows are bad. I know. I love them. Yeah, me too. Yeah! I mean, who cares about Bolas's dark schemes to take over Ravnica? It's all about Jace and Vraska. Will they? Won't they? Kozilek and Emrakul? Would they? Can they? Like, physically? Who dulled Garrick's axe by using it to chop wood? Who kidnapped Gion's dog? 
Someone kidnapped Mowu? I'll kill them. Who did it? You'll find out on the next episode. Are we doing the thing where there are several different shows so we can have crossovers? Of course we are. Okay, uh, Tamio and Vivian are out traveling the multiverse, trapping wildlife. Vivian tags and releases him, and Tamio is making notes. And what's up with Teferi on Dominaria? Is Sarkin dealing with some small town drama out there on the Dragon Ranch? Yes to everything, and they all get together for the season finale where they rescue Mowu! Do they find out who kidnapped him? Maybe. But you'll have to wait for next season. Ugh, I get enough of that as it is. Friends, what's up with that new Netflix show? Tell me, what do you want to see from that? Storytelling, characters, conflict and motivation. Those are things that shows should have, yes. Shut up, James. You know what I mean. Like, a Johnny's from Alara, which exploded, but it's mostly fine now. How does that make him feel? And how does it inform what he does now? Is he worried about it happening again? Did a Johnny have a house? But what's the show about? I don't care! I just wanted to be well written! Adam, I want you to know that while I am going to mulligan this again... I don't know what that means. It's not because I disagree with you. It's because that take is so cold it taps for snow mana. Thank you? So, what do we think the new MTG series should be about? Planeswalker High School. It's like those old teenage sitcoms. And when the actors get too old to pretend to go to prom for the eighth time, you can just reboot the whole show with their kids. Whose kids? Everyone! And we can call it Gatewatch, the new Sparks, or whatever. And it'll have like Kiora's daughter with a pet octopus, a construct clone of Karn, ooh, and a core vampire who's the daughter of Soren and Nahiri. Whoa, 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 what? Well, yeah, everyone in this show learns a lesson and gets along. Also, presumably, Soren doesn't lead the Eldrazi to Nahiri's home plane, resulting in the death of millions because, well, that would be a bummer. Instead, maybe he just, I don't know, doesn't understand her band or something? Ugh, what a dink. See, Kathleen's on board. I respect a good AU. So do I. That is not it. Friend. I crave discourse in the new Magic TV show, and you're my last resort. Thank you for your honesty, but luckily for you, I have a lot of opinions. So far, that has not actually been a positive. I am going to nod my head like I know what you're talking about, then I'm going to change the subject. So you know what they really need to do for this show? Is put the control into the hands of the fans, because we're the people who really care about the Magic story. I could see some kind of focus group or... Now, as you know, I'm a very successful writer, so I have actually already compiled some of my best fic for your perusal. Would you like to read A Spark of Romance or No Blue Mage is an Island? Oh, both, please. Paul! I know this is a futile gesture, since you... Assuredly have multiple backups. Well, yeah, only a fool completely trusts the cloud. But I thought this was a stirring visual metaphor for how likely you are to see some of these very specific scenes on the small screen. You know, this wouldn't be the first time someone's personal fic got turned into a big budget franchise. It wouldn't be. Also, it won't be. I've decided I no longer crave discourse. Thank you. So that's what it would be like if I could mulligan in real life. What a supremely trivial way for me to use such a power. Fascinating. So yeah, that's what would happen if I invented a simulation that would allow me to see what would happen if I could mulligan in real life. Hey, since Simulation Graham came up with that rap, does that mean I own it? Because that slapped. Hey, Paul. I heard you were looking for thoughts on the new MTG Netflix show. So here's my fresh take. A home improvement program. Who's home? The whole thing. It's this old plane with Dark Confidant Vila and Karn Abrams. Beesh, I... I can't mulligan lower than zero. No, you can't.